Hey guys, welcome to uh, Family Camp Fireside Chat. Yes, Fireside Chat, we've created a fire right here in this small little room. Yeah. Uh, it'll simmer, it'll get hot, but before it does, we got some business to take care of, folks. Yes, yes. Uh, last week, it was just the two of us. We have a very special guest today we're excited about. But a reminder, before we introduce our special guest, following this, you can join us at the Skit Guys Insider Group. Uh, use the QR code if you're not a, a part of it yet, or search it out on the Facebooks, and uh, then we'll have a little talky talky time yeah. with you afterwards. Or, or just grab your phone and go, Siri, where do I find Skit Guys Insider Group? And Siri knows, folks. Siri knows. Siri, Johnny on the spot for Siri. So it won't work, huh? It won't work. Google it. Okay. So anyway, join us afterwards for a little discussion. We would love for you to do that. I am uh, super excited uh, today. Uh, you get to meet uh, the lady who plays my wife in family camp. Uh, she is really probably the she's best amazing. part of the movie. She's amazing. Like, yeah, she's very fantastic. She blew us away. Uh, would you like to introduce her? Oh, I would love to. Okay. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, will you please welcome one of the stars of family camp, Leon Baker, what? ladies and gentlemen. What? <laughs> Lee, Hello. welcome. Hello, it's so good to see you. Thanks for joining us for the Family Camp Fireside Chat. So good to see you, and I always love a good fireside chat. Right. Well, this is this this is going to be one of those great ones. It's going to be you know cozy and intimate. We're going to have s'mores going in the whole bit. It's going to be fun. so much fun. Super fun, Lee. Uh, first of all, just how you doing? Doing great. Loving life, happy as can be. So excited for this movie to come out. We are too. Uh, we are too. Now, whenever we show the trailer, Lee, um, people, there's a, once they see your face, there's ch there's chatter all in the audiences, you know, and then you can tell that they're trying to. It's one of those things. Either they know exactly who you are, or, or their brains are going, okay, okay, where have I seen her? Where have I seen her? <laughs> so, just for the sake of you know, letting everybody know. Who are you? What have you been doing? All of that stuff. Where, where, where would we know you from, Lee? So I'm an actress and I've done a couple shows. Uh, one of them was called Will and Grace. I did years and years ago. And then uh, another one that I did that a lot of people like is called Good Luck Charlie. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Oh my goodness. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. I was with a group of college students and got to show them the trailer. And they're like, oh my gosh, how did you get her? How did you, you know? Yeah. And I was like, because we're cool, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's always the question is, how did you get her? How yeah. did, why, how did, why did she say yes to you guys? I'm yeah. here to give you guys street cred. Yes, thank oh, you. Oh, that's exactly right. And, and we you did. It. And yeah. you did. And just so you know, everybody, in this movie, Leon, you just, you just, you just kicked it up like 17 notches. You made all of us better. You taught us, you guided us, and you were funny. You got you are just great at the comedy and the drama. Just please. You're so good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So thank you. Thank you. Now, now we're asking you questions. All right. So okay. uh here we go. Uh first of all, what was filming Family Camp like for you? Uh one of the best filming experiences I ever had, honestly. Um it was just, you know that magic, beautiful, blessed moment where it's just a great group of people that get together with a great script, with so much talent. And it was just every day was a pleasure to come to work. And certainly after being in, you know, lockdown for, I think, how many days did I make it in lockdown? I think I made it like 42 days before I fled California. So <laughs> I made it for a while. And then I was like, I'm going to Oklahoma. You know, so it was just so great to hug people and mm. and eat with people and laugh with people. I mean, you know, I was just so grateful for it, especially after such a hard time. It was so great. Oh, okay. I, I have a question. This isn't on the sheet, so I'm kind of oh, okay. he's going rogue. I'm going off rogue. I'm going off rogue. Okay. What what made you want to be a, an actress? What made you? How did you get into all of it? Was it always a dream for you? Like. You know, this is our dream as far as trying to make a movie and, you know, make it good and not cheesy and, you know, all of that. But what what was your dream? How did all this happen for you? How did our, you know, to our paths cross? You know, I always grew up with this on my heart. I always knew that this is what I was meant to do. And when people would say to me they don't know what they want to do, I'd think, oh, like that's a lonely feeling because mm -hmm. I've always just known 100 percent. 
hundred percent sure what I was going to do. And there was just no question for me. Um, so I just did it. Hmm. Is that a weird answer? I just did it. Yeah, I, I used it. to have this answer there where I would say, oh, I couldn't decide what I wanted to be when I grew up. And if you're an actor, you can be anything. But, you know, that is just contrite BS. I really just have to do what I wanted to do. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. That's great. I, you followed your dream, which I yeah. which I think is fantastic. You know, I mean, and, and nobody said stop. Nobody said go, but nobody said stop, right? It's like you did what you well, wanted to do. A lot of people said stop. I oh, just said, did. no, thank you. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I love fantastic. it. I love it. Um, on family camp, you talked about like you, you left where you were, but you had your family with you like the whole time, like your boys were there during the whole time, right? Yeah, I've, I think I did, I've done one thing without my kids and it was like a four day stint. And I thought I, I felt like I left my arms and legs at home. Oh. So, um, I, I, brought them with me of course i mean we we left california and then we got to spend this amazing month in oklahoma making new friends and you know and and seeing a new part of the country and and it was open and vibrant and everyone was happy and thriving and the weather was was great and i'd never experienced wind like that in my entire life <laughs> yes and i've never eaten so much red clay in my entire life because when the wind blows you eat it <laughs> so great. Um, it was great. What uh, what was like a great memory for you, and what was a challenge? Uh, uh, what was a challenging thing for you on the on the set of Family Camp? Like, what was something that you really liked, and what was something that was challenging for you? Okay, so something that I really liked was um, I really liked the prayer box at Craft Services. <laughs> I know oh. that's going to sound weird but That's awesome. um and being as i had just left the only home i had known since i was mm. 18 years old and taken mm. my family and bolted the fact that there's a prayer box and 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 i had never seen anything like that i was just really i did not understand the fact that someone wanted to take time out of their day to pray for me and hold mm. my family in in, in such loving grace. I just didn't, I just didn't understand that it was foreign to me. Wow. Um, so, and then just, I don't know, bonding with all of you guys and talking about the Enneagrams and the, and, and all the things that we did and all the ad living that we did to, to really enrich a scene that is pretty great on paper. This was a great script and very funny on paper, but to elevate it with all these different layers, you see yeah. that it takes, it takes everybody coming together and working together yep. to really add the richness of all those layers that make our characters. Yep. Um, so that those are my favorite parts. And I would say the challenge was um, I had, there's a couple things. One, I had a hard time kind of staying in my lane <laughs> because I'm used to like coming in guns a blazing and like, <laughs> Making it happen, folks. Making it happen. And I was like, oh, other people are making it happen. I've got to be this. I don't know how to do that. You know? <laughs> so that was a bit of a challenge. Um, the other challenge was there was a scene that that ended up being cut from the movie that I did not understand at the time that we filmed it. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. It was a scene where I don't want to give like a spoiler alert, but where Grace sort of finds her way to surrender her family to God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it was very like it was I mean, it was like pulling teeth out of me. Like I couldn't get myself to do it because I've for so long fought so hard for my kids and their health and their safety and their well being mm -hmm. that I didn't really know how to. I mean, like, this has been my grip on life. I've like mm -hmm. had a death grip on it. Mm -hmm. And I didn't really understand how you can just, you know, open your hands and mm -hmm. someone that loves your kids more than you mm -hmm. has them. Um, so wow. that was. It was a learning process for me. And now I'm like, oh, I get it. Okay, oh. got that. 
That's beautiful. Golly, that's that is beautiful. that's I love beautiful. That. Yeah. yeah, and I love going back to when you were talking about the the prayer box and all that. Like, it's so funny because we've never done this before. We just assumed, sure, everybody has a prayer box at craft <laughs> services. Why would you not? <laughs> you know. <laughs> a bunch of junk food and coffee. So, so the fact that there was healthy food, water, and a prayer box, there was one point, I don't know if you guys know it, where everyone was looking for me on set and they were like, where's Lee Allen? Where's Lee Allen? And somebody goes, I think she's over at the prayer box. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> Like, how many can I write? Like, can I do, do, do just get one a day? Can I do five? <laughs> and like, what's my limit? limit? <laughs> well, what's really cool and that nobody would know behind the scenes is two things. One, we had a full-time pastor that was on set just for prayer, like anybody that wanted to pray, which was cool. The other thing is the whole time we were filming, 24 hours a day, there was somebody praying. There was there was folks in Australia. There was folks in other parts of the world so that the whole time we're filming that the, this movie was being lifted up to the Lord in prayer, which I think is fantastic yeah. and I love. That is, that's pretty spectacular. What uh, did you do? Did you do your own stunts? Huh? My own stunts. So here, this is kind of a big Hollywood secret that most people don't know about. Yeah. But um, Tom Cruise and I, we we do our own stunts. Wow. And that's, so, like, listen, that's the way I've heard it said. Yeah. I've heard it's always like Tom Cruise and Leon Baker do their own stunts. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we do our own stunts. Yeah. And you know, he flies planes. What a <laughs> I've yet to see him like fall in the water off the back of a boat in a dock. So. <laughs> yeah, because that's in the trailer. Like we see that in the trailer of you, and that's really you. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I'm not gonna let somebody else fall in the lake for me. <laughs> <laughs> you did so great. What I don't know if it's all in there, but you did a whole bit of getting out of the water. Yes. That, like <laughs> That bit at the credits, I'm telling you, that is comedy gold. I know it was, it was fantastic. Was that all ad lib? Was that you ad libbing? Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. You you made us better, Lee Allen. Seriously, I, I don't know, I you, you just made us better. Thank you for thank you for caring so much. I, you know, I mean, it's it's one thing, you know, oh, here comes this actress from Hollywood, you know, and, and I know I felt nervous, but you put us oh. all at ease. You jumped in with this. You made us better. You, I mean, I, I can't thank you enough for everything that you did for us to elevate this movie to make us better. I really do mean that. Yeah. You guys are so sweet because I, you guys were so sweet. You would come up to me. I don't know if you remember this. And you would say, um, thank you for being so generous. And I would think, oh, is that what you guys call it? <laughs> I mean, me butting in and giving you notes is generous. Oh, that's such a nice way to spend that. Thank you so much. No. Okay, so here's here's the truth. <laughs> I love that. Like the, the first time we, before we started filming, our director, Brian, had us play games together as the two families. And I remember walking into this building and like, there's Lee Allen. And I'm mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. she's going to play my wife. I, why am I here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. shouldn't be here. Somebody else should be here. Right. And you were so kind right out of the bat and, and rather competitive because we were playing I games. Like, I was out there to kick some butt. <laughs> I know, right? But then the other thing that was great was there would be times where I would be getting direction and me being who I am, I'm, I'm looking at the director like, okay. And Lee Allen would just lead in and whisper, try it this way. <laughs> And yes, then I would yes, do it, yes. and Brian, the director, would be like, perfect. And I was like, okay. I'll just listen to Lee Allen. Like, yeah. He's saying, do this, that, and the other. It's yeah. like, eventually you learn that there is a code that directors have. Like, I think there should be an entire job where someone just, like, fills in the blank and interprets what the director is trying to tell you to do. Oh, that's so mm, good. Mm, I need mm, it. Mm. You did that for me. Thank you. <laughs> okay, here's a question. So, so Lee Allen, this is the first family-friendly, faith-based comedy out there. All the faith-based mm -hmm. movies in the past 15 years have been dramas. This is the first one. What What would you say to somebody that's, I, I mean, that doesn't, maybe they have religious baggage. Maybe they don't even go to church. Maybe, maybe they go to church where they've gone to these other faith-based films and they love the drama, but a comedy can, you know, like what would you say to someone out there watching this when this movie comes out? Uh, Friday the 13th in May? Well, first of all, I would say that 
laughter is really sweet after some tears, right? Mm -hmm. That's why, and the tears are really heartfelt after lots of laughter. Mm -hmm. So I think that you will feel more in a comedy than you will in a drama. Mm -hmm. Because instead of being on one level emotionally and then you feel something, well, now we're experiencing the highs and the lows of laughter and um, and grief and pain and self-discovery and connection with the Holy Father. You know, Love so in, in my opinion, um, what is taking everybody so long? That's my opinion. <laughs> We're right there with you. Yeah, I'm, I'm you glad know, it's I'm us. Gonna, you've got to laugh at life. It is hard. It is fallen and you better laugh at it or you're going to just cry. And, yeah. you know, this movie doesn't laugh at, you know, faith. It mm -hmm. laughs at us and our yeah. humanity. And, yeah. you know, we need to learn to laugh at ourselves again. Yeah. Unfortunately, that is an art and a joy that is lost or has been stolen from us. But mm -hmm. it's time we take it back. Yeah. I, I yeah, love that well said. everybody in this movie, as far as a, you know, a faith-based movie, uh, we have people when they've watched this, the screening, they'll, they'll, you know, we're taking questions and answering things. Um, we've had people go, Hey, thank you for not making the men stupid, you know, like they're doofuses. And thank you for making the women have, have issues and problems as well, because sometimes it could, it could be like, the women have it all together and the men are just like, you know, but in in our movie, uh, everyone has something that they're dealing with. That's right. Everyone has a real humanity. Yeah, it's good. Well it's good. said. That's very, very good. Man. That's very, very good. Nobody, perfect people aren't funny. Yeah. They're <laughs> You're right. That's You're true. right. And, and exist, you know, I think that's why people liked my character on Good Luck Charlie's because she had so many faults and everybody else is like, oh, I can relate. Thank you. You yeah. know, I yeah. think you're right. Hey, I want us to make after family camp. I hope it does so well. I want to make family missions, family Christmas. I, I want to oh, figure out how we're making. All I've already got a whole page of ideas. Great. So like I'm in. OK. All right. You're awesome. Let's do it. You're awesome. Like you're move awesome. over vacation series like it's now our turn. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Lee, I know that I told you when we finished filming and all that and have told you since, but can I just say publicly, thank you. Thank you for taking the chance on us. Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining us in this. I mean, for us, it's been a lifelong dream and you coming in, Eddie said it earlier, but it's so true. You just take the movie to the next level. So thanks for using your gifts and talents to honor God. And thanks for blessing us so much in the process. You're wonderful. Oh, it was my pleasure. Thank you for so showing me so much kindness and grace and generosity and love. I really had a wonderful time. Good. All right. All right. Well, everybody, May 13th, go out, get your tickets, rent out theaters. We need to uh, we need to send a message that we want more of these types of things. And and friends, you, all, you already are doing that by the numbers that we've seen with uh, people uh, renting out theaters and wanting to uh, take a stake in Friday the 13th in May. We think, can't thank That's you right. enough. This is where our voices get to be heard, right here in the box office. You know, sorry, but as far as business of movies goes, this is how your voice gets heard. So let's let's speak loudly. Love it. Thank you. Folks, yeah. you, right. you heard the lady. All right. You heard, sorry, it's over there. You heard the lady. You All right. It. Yeah, do it. just do, do it. it. All right. All right. Thanks for spending time with us, Lee. Uh, for everybody else, uh, we will see you on the Insider Group. We're going there right now. Bye, Lee. Bye, Lee. Bye, guys.